Week 9, question 1. This is a parallelogram. Lm is 5, Mn is 3. This is a radius, uh, a circle of radius 1. So this will be 1, this will be 2, and this will be 1, this will be 4. Part A, he wants the angle LKN. LKN, which is exactly equal to LMN. In this triangle, I have two sides and I have, I have the three sides. So I can get this angle using the uh, cosine rule. So ln square is equal to this square plus this square minus 2, 3 times 5 times cosine the angle. So using my calculator, the angle will be 37.62. Since he's not giving any um, decimal numbers, so 38 after rounding will be the correct answer. So this is 38, this is 38. Uh, here he wants the area and the perimeter. So the area of this shaded side is the area of the parallelogram minus the area, the small, uh, this is small sector. The area of the parallelogram is five times the height. To get the height, I have here a right angle, uh, triangle, I have this angle. I have this and I have this, I can get this using Pythagorean, or you have this angle, you have this side and you have this side, so you can say that uh, this is the hypotenuse over, you can use the sine rule, uh, sine 38 is equal to h over three, and you can get the h. Uh, so I will use the sign because it's easier. Sine 38 is equal to h over 3. So h is equal to 1.83. Get the area of the parallelogram. It's the base, which is 5 times the height. So 5 times this number, it will equal to 9.15. Get the area of this uh, sector. So it's equal to the angle 38 over 360 times pi r square. And he told you that the radius is 1. So this area will equal to 0 0.33. 9.15 minus 0 0.33, the area of the shaded is 8.82, so uh, after rounding you have to, uh, it will be 9. Then to the nearest whole number, the perimeter, I will go with my pen like this, I'll start from H, so this is 2, plus 5, 7, plus 3 is 10, plus 4 is 14, plus this arc, so I have 14, plus how much is this arc, it is 38 over 360, times 2 pi r so this will equal to 0 0.6634 and, and so on so i'll put 0 0.66 plus 14 so i have 14.66 after rounding it will be 15 centimeters this question actually is repeated in the course questions but with different numbers and it is repeated in uh, the weekly it's repeated before so and it's it, it's in the activities of the book so there's a high chance that you'll get this question again Question two is giving you this uh, figure. Um, M is a point that AB, AM to AB is one to two. AM to AB is one to two means this is one and this is one. And the whole is two. Please don't get confused with this because mostly you will get, your mistake will be here. So if it's say one to two, it's one to the whole thing is two. So that means this is one and this is one. If it's said one to three, so this is one, two, and the whole is three and so on. So. First, he wants O, M, O, M. So here, O, M is equal to O, A in the same direction. So it's A plus A, M plus A, M. And A, M is equal to A, B over 2. So A, B over 2, which is equal to A, B is equal to what? I'm starting from A, so I'm going to this direction. So minus A plus b so b minus a over 2 and they have here a plus so this will equal to a over 2 uh, this is a minus half a so it will be a over 2 plus b over 2 so if you simplify it's 1 over 2 a plus b so this is wrong this is correct second he wants a m a m i already got it here a m is equal to a b over 2 so a m is equal to b minus a over 2. So 1 over 2 b minus a. 1 over 2 b minus a. So this is correct and this is wrong. Lastly, he want a b. a b minus a plus b. So b minus a. Question 3. Consider this parallelogram. He's asking which of the following vectors is equal to m n minus k n. m n is going to this direction. I'm starting from n. Minus kn kn is going like this so minus it will be going to the other direction so mn minus kn it will give you mk 
So the correct answer is MK and starting from N going to K. Question 4. Which of the following is equal to KL plus LQ? KL plus LQ. I started from K going to L, from L going to Q, so it's KQ. And starting at Q going to K going to Q. Another correct answer in this, it will be KM divided by 2. So if, he, if you have something like KM over 2 or half KM, this is also correct. Which of the following is a circumference of a circle radius 4? Circumference 2 pi r, the radius is 4, so 2 times r, uh, 2 times 4 is 8 pi. Which of the following is the area of a circle of radius 5 pi r square, 5 times 5 is 25 r square, or 5 square pi, or 25 pi? Question 7, it's repeated in the course question, course practice, and before also, so uh, this question also, there is a high chance that it will come in the exam. He's giving you this cone, and after unfolding the cone, it became like this. The first part, he wants the angle X. I will use the geometry 4.3. This AB arc, it's the circumference of this uh, cir uh, circle, of the base circle, so I will equal both together to get the angle X. The circumference of this circle is 2 pi r, so 2 pi r, which is equal to uh, 2 times 4, so 8 pi. The length of this arc is equal to, so the length of AB, which is the circumference of, the sector, of this sector AB, so it will equal to the angle x over 360 times 2 pi, and this circle, the radius is 10. So this is equal to 20 over 360 pi x. This and this are equal, so 20 over 360 pi x is equal to 8 pi. Let's simplify, pi will go with the pi. So x is equal to 8 times 360 over 20. Using your calculator, this is equal to 144. Part B, what is the area of the shaded region? I'll get the area of the sector minus the area of the triangle. The area of the sector is 144 over 360 times pi. R square here is 10, so times 100. And the area of the triangle, I will use the sine rule. It is this times this times sine the angle, 1 over 2 times 10 times 10 times sine 144 using the calculator this will equal to 125.714 and the area of the triangle is 29.389 so this minus this will give you 96.325 uh, round it to the nearest uh, whole number so it would equal to 96 centimeters square the surface area of a right rectangle prism with side lengths 6 and 4 and height 10, 6, 4, 10, is how much? I just draw it here for you. So each side, you have two from it. And you have two from this, and you have two from this, and you have two from this. If you don't know the rule, I will calculate the area of one side and multiply it by two. So 4 times 6 times 2 plus 6 times 10 times 2 plus 10 times 4 times 2. When you add all this, you'll get 248. Question 9. You have a solid cylinder, has a volume of 125 pi centimeter cube and a height of 5 centimeter. So this height is 5 and he's giving you the volume and he wants the radius. I know that the volume of any shape is equal to the, the area of the base times the height. Okay. So the area of the base is actually the area of this circle, so it's pi r square times the height, which is 5, that is equal to the volume, which is 1, 2, 5, pi. So simplify, 125 over 5 is 25, radical 5, so the r is equal to radical 25, which is 5. The radius of this circle is 5. Part B, a solid cone with a height 9 is attached to this cylinder. To make a new solid, the total volume of this new solid. Type the volume, the volume of the cone. It's one over three pi r square. 
this is the base times the height times the height nine here i don't say the area of the base because the cone is gradually reducing so this is denoted by one over three pi r squared times the height so this is the volume of the cone i know already that the radius is five so you have one over three pi times 25 times 9 this is the volume of the cone plus the volume of the cylinder you already know from part a it's 125 pi or it is the area of the base again pi r squared times the height which is 5 when you calculate this on your um, calculator taban he's taking uh, pi outside so we have 1 over 3 this will be 1 this will be 3 3 times 20 will be 75 pi plus one two five pi so this is equal to 200 pi c is telling you a solid similar to that of part a and it looks similarly like this it has a volume of 5400 pi what is the radius of the cylinder of the new solid type the volume of this solid new solid it is the volume of the cylinder the base cylinder which is pi r square times the height times I have to assume the height is the same because if, if you don't know the height, you will have two variables in your equation and you cannot solve it. So I have to assume the same height, which is 5, plus the volume of this cone, 1 over 3 pi r squared times the height. Again, I will assume the same height equal to 9. This is equal to 5,400 pi. So I will, I will simplify by removing all the pi. So 5,400 is equal to r squared times 5, so 5 r, r squared plus 1 over 2, um, 1 over 3, this is 1 over 3, sorry, 1 over 3, uh, 3 will go with this, so this will be 3 r squared, so 5400 divided by 8, which is 3 plus 5, 6, 7, 5, radical this number, is equal to 15 radical 3 so i got 15 radical 3 as the r here the radius of the cylinder of the new solid is 15 centimeter i think he forgot here radical 3 so it's like a number radical 3 so in that case it will be 15 other than that this answer is not uh, accurate please check it with uh, with your teacher Question 10, part A, the volume of a sphere of radius 6 cm. The, the, the equation for the volume of the sphere is 4 over 3 pi r cube. So here there is a pi, so you only make 4 over 3 times uh, 6 to the power of 3. It will equal to 288. B, the sphere is placed in a cylinder container of radius 7. The, he dropped the sphere into this container filled with one liter of water. So before this container was filled with one liter of water. So the volume of the water inside the cylinder before I put the bowl is one liter. And he told you the one liter is 1000 centimeter cube. So the volume of water before it was 1000 centimeter cube, which is by r squared times h. But this is not the height that he want. He want the height after he put the cylinder. So I have two volumes, the volume of the water plus the volume of the cylinder, uh, the sphere, sorry. So the volume of the water is 1000. The volume of the sphere is 288 pi. Okay, please don't forget that there is a pi here. So 1000 plus 288 times 22 over 7. So the volume, the new volume of, uh, the, new volume of the water plus the sphere, it is 1000 plus 288 pi. So the new volume of the water is 1905.14, which is equal to pi r squared times the new height that he wants. R is 7. So I will divide this divided by 7, divided by 7, divided by pi. So the new volume is equal to, uh, sorry, the new height. H is equal to 12.37. And he want to round it to uh, the nearest whole number. So it will be the new height will be 12 please don't forget that this is 288 pi if you take 288 only you will get the wrong answer so you have to get the pi here question 11 is repeated many times a train starts from rest it reaches the maximum speed after five minutes then it decelerates at uh, the end um, the distance traveled during the entire hour is 63 kilometers he wants the speed 
he wants this the speed so this the distance traveled is equal to the area of this shape which is the small base plus the big base divided by times the height so the distance 63 is equal to the small base this is 750 minus 705 is 45 minutes and i'm calculating with hours so this is 45 over 60 plus the big base this is complete one hour divided by two times the the height which is v so calculate you'll get v is equal to 72. the average acceleration of the train during the first five minutes the average acceleration is equal to the final acceleration which is this v 72 minus the initial uh, speed which is zero divided by the time which is five minutes i'm calculating in hours so five over 60. calculate this you will get it 864 kilometer per per hour square question 12 the area of a circle whose circumference is 12 pi is k pi so the circumference is 2 pi r this is equal to 12 pi so 2 r is 12 so r is equal to 6 he wants the area the area is is pi r square so pi is here so r square 6 times 6 so it's 36 Question 13, this is also in course revision. In the given figure, PQR is an arc of radius R and length 15. So he gives you the length of PQR. He wants the length of QR. So first I need to get the R. I know that this is 15. So 15 is equal to this angle, which is 90 plus 60, 150 over 360 times 2 pi R. So from this you'll get the R is equal to 58 over 11 or uh, 5.7272 so i need the length of the arc qr so the length of qr is equal to the angle of the sector qr which is 60 over 360 times the radi the circumference of the whole circle 2 pi r 2 pi and this is your r so you'll get that uh, qr is equal to 6. Question 14, this is also an activity in the book. He wants the area of the shaded region bounded by the arc AB. I'll get the area of the arc, the sector AB, minus the area of the triangle. The, the radius is 20, so this is also 20. The area of the triangle is very easy. So the triangle area is equal to base uh, times height times 1 over 2. So 1 over 2 base, which is 20 times the height which is 20 so this is equal to 10 times 20 is 200 the area of the sector the area of the sector is equal to this angle 90 over 360 times pi r square pi r is 20 times 20 i think the example in the book was 10 so simplify you will get this this will be 1 over 4 times 20 times 20 so this is 100 pi so the area of this uh, figure is 100 pi minus 200 so here he put you pi so you need to put 100 pi minus 200 which is the sector minus the triangle last question is uh, direct application in the rule he wants the area of this sector so the area of the sector is 108 over 360 times pi r square so pi times 10 times 10 R squared is 10 times 10. So here he kept the pi, so you need to simplify this. 108 times 10 times 10 over 360, it will equal to 30 pi centimeters squared. 